Hi, I'm David Clement on behalf of Expert Village, and today we're going to learn the basics of drawing. Okay, now that we've blocked off our shadows and sh um, the dark areas of this drawing, we can go back in and we can get a little bit more detail. You see the, the pages of the book go across, so if you remember, we just draw, drew straight lines, and we can indicate here. Okay, and now this has kind of a mid-tone. This is dark. This is the brightest, so this is a mid-tone on the side of this book and on the front. So I'm not going to shade as dark as I did on the front here. But I am going to come in here and sh shade and, sh and uh, texture this book so it gives it even more depth. You know, But I'm going lighter than this, but not as light as the top and the front of the book. And if I want to get really detailed, I can even draw the little illustration of the woman on the front. Kind of indicate that there. And it says La Mode. I think it's an old French book that my mom gave me at one point. Okay, and then for the, the sculpture, there's lots of lots of shading you can do in here because of the light and the texture of the shadow. You can just come in here and kind of indicate. Okay. Come in here and pull this out. You know, and right next to a highlight, there's going to be a dark area pretty much everywhere. You see how this is really highlighted? There's a dark area right next to it. Um, the same with this is really dark. It's highlighted there. And that's, you know, the, the light will always butt up against, against something dark. Just like where the light hits here, the shadow starts and it's next to something dark. This is light and then, it, you know, the shadows behind it, that's really dark. Um, so we can come in here and indicate Jeffrey's tattoos or spots, whatever you want to call them. And you can go really dark with that. Okay, and you come in here and kind of bring his eye out and give it a little bit of life. Okay, his nose, he's got little spots on his face. And then he kind of is a mid-tone as well. Okay, and you can give texture to the wood by your simple lines. Like this. Okay. And there you have it, a still life drawing.